Hello everyone, this is your boy Cheshire the Phoenix here giving you an update today on Doomfist. He has seen a slight adjustment to his kit. Yes, he has been nerfed a tad bit, giving him a little less mobility on his rocket punch, but that's okay. So I thought today we should just do it. Go ahead and just do the video of a breakdown of Doomfist currently as he is. So let's first start off with his passive, the best defense. You'll gain 30 barriers, 30 barriers per enemy hit with any of the three abilities, which is seismic slam, rising upper cut and rising punch you will get a plus 75 barriers per enemy hit with the ultimate ability meteor crush which gives you up to a maximum of 150 so any enemy hit with anything besides your primary fire and your melee you will get shielding 30 shields and hitting with your ultimate every enemy hit you will get 75 shield gaining up to additional 150 which can ultimately gets hitting a lot of enemies can ultimately give you up to 400 health so that's good now let's move on to his hand cannon his primary fire you will is shotgun projectile you get 11 per pellet 66 damage per shot you get six per shot three shots per second and you have four ammo which generates over a 0.75 second time so basically it will take a body a head and then a melee to down flank characters like Tracer and Genji, whereas it will take eight pellets to kill a body shot, eight pellets of a body shot to kill a tank like Roadhog. So it's a good ability. Uh, I I don't see anybody using it that much, but it's also you the spread of it is fires like a shotgun. The spread of it spreads more the further you are from your enemy, and it's best to be used to mid to close uh mid to close range so you can get all those uh pellets and get the 66 damage per shot 4-4 four, four. so yeah the next we're going to have his seismic slam which is his e ability and you'll get 40 to 100 uh, 125 damage on a second and it's on a seven second cooldown the damage on this move scales depending on how high you were uh, you can get up to 50 to 125 damage um, depending on just how high you are like if you just hit your rising uppercut and hit it you will be most likely probably getting um, 75 damage or something like that it just depends on where how high you are when you launch the attack like you could jump off of something uh, and land it on uh, opponent and hit them for the maximum of 125 it just depends on like I said the height of the elevation of where you activated the uh, move if you're standing on a straight vertical uh, horizontal plane it's like just standing there in front of your enemy it won't do that much it, it's still the least amount of damage but if you came off from a high elevation yes it will do a lot of damage next we have his rising uppercut which does 50 damage and is on the seven second cooldown. Rising uppercut is self-explanatory. It just gives uh, CC your opponent into the air, gives you cr uh, crowd control effect. The only people that doesn't get crowd control effect uh, by this uh, ability is Arissa, where she's using her fortify. It can't go through Reinhardt's shields, I believe. Um, Zarya's bubble, she will take the, the CC effect of it, of getting knocked into the air, but Zarya will not take no damage as usual, as we know. Um, there's a, other people, but it's best for you to go try it out yourself and test it out and see. But upon hitting Arissa, Zarya, with that, you will still get your shielding from using the move, but it's just a very great thing. Next, we have his Rocket Punch. Rocket Punch does 50. 75 87.5 or 100 damage depending on the duration of the charge and it gives you an extra 50 to 150 on a wall hit you want to hit opponents into the wall with this because you can basically one shot kill any hero that isn't a tank by hitting them into a, a wall with a fully charged rocket punch as i said the range of rocket punch has been nerfed rocket punch no longer gives you 30 meters it said it gives you like 20 you will get up to 20 to 23 meters with this move it's uh his mobility has been nerfed a slight bit that's the only thing but i'm thinking with the upcoming patches doomfist may be nerfed again with the damage on his rocket punch because as we've seen with the roadhog nerf roadhog was nerfed into oblivion no longer having his burst down combo with the hook and shot kill yes sadness but that is okay seeing that his uh burst potential has been uh nerfed we might see a decrease in doomfist uh potential uh damage potential also so let's look out for that next we have his meteor strike which is his ultimate and it does 300 at the epicenter 
of the uh, Meteor Crush, Meteor Strike, Meteor Crush, that's actually the Hulk's move in Marvel vs. Capcom, I'm sorry, <laughs> um, Meteor Strike uh, 300 at the epicenter, that means in the middle, you want to combo this with something like Grav, or you want to, uh, if you uh, time it right with an Orisa, her uh, gravity ball or anything that immobilizes like a earth shatter anything that immobilizes your opponent you want to use that and utilize that in a wombo combo to get the most damage which is 300 at the epicenter so you'll be killing all squishies anything like that ex everybody except for a tank um and it does 50 on the outer circle uh 50 to uh 50 to probably up to 200 in the outer circle uh that's not in the middle uh anybody out the range uh this move will not go through reinhardt shields it will not uh it will deal a little bit of damage to arissa and uh zarya any shielding to hit uh winston uh if you are on the outside of his shield the uh the center of it uh, if the ring around it is on the outside of Winston's shield, he will not take no damage. You have to actually land in the middle of the shield where he is to hit him just like any other thing like Diva's ultimate, her self-destruct ultimate. You want to land it inside the shield. Uh, on Reinhardt, you want to try to land right on top of Reinhardt, not on his, like on the outside of his shield. So yeah, that's basically the gist of all his abilities. Now, how I uh, think... Doomfist will fit into the meta. Doomfist will fit into the meta. He's going to be great. He can punch through shields. Well, I don't know if that's intended or not for right now, but as, as of right now, Doomfist can punch through shields. Uh, I think Doomfist will do well in this game. He's going to be great. Um, I do see that they might nerf him again slightly in the near future as it's right now. He's in the PTR as of July 8th, 2017. This is when it's recorded. So we might see another change to Doomfist uh, into the coming weeks or not. But I think Doomfist is amazing. He's a great character. Uh, the nerf, I guess it was good because he was moving around the field a little too much, being a little too quick, quicker than Tracer. It could get to points quicker than anybody else. With uh, his cooldown of Rocket Punch being four seconds, he was just in there, out there, in and out. So I can see why they nerfed him a little bit, just nerfed the movement. But I'm going to keep you updated on everything Doomfist or every, anything Overwatch related uh, in the near future. So... Like I said before, and every, we all know, rise through the flames and keep on gaming, guys. This is your boy Cheshire the Phoenix. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with your video. Share this video with your friends. And peace.